Okay. So, this is our fleet as it stands. Scarab needs a bit of work on its paint still around this area, and we'll probably get to that during the stream. I uh, won't do it straight away because there's things I want to change about it first. Uh, I only just noticed it's uh, big, medium, small. Uh, I like it. We, we just need one tiny, tiny little thrust and it would be perfect. Huh. Totally didn't notice that before. Uh, but yes, we've got many things we need to do with the Scarab. Not too much that we need to do on the Hercules for now. I think the Hercules is good where it's at. We may change some things up, but for the most part, I'm happy with where it's at. Oh, look, I'm kind of sad that a ship isn't named Belial. It would be very interesting to see what it could... It, yeah, it would immediately combust. Like, it wouldn't even be in, under attack, and it would just spiral out of control into an asteroid and explode. Then we'd have a flaming asteroid just hurtling itself across the, the sector. It would be an, an absolute nightmare. Hey, oh, ghost shards. Yeah, if removed there's anything to go by, Bilal would immediately die. But yeah, I'm reasonably happy with where uh, the Hercules is at at the moment. Though I do need to do something about the paint right there. Maybe drag that shadow across a little bit. Either that or have the shadow moving there, I'm not sure. Maybe a hard line on the shadow. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. But, uh, got options. Then, of course, we've got the Fire Ant. The Fire Ant needs some work. It really does. Alright, so, here's my plan for the Fire Ant during this stream. Obviously, in this stream, we're going to be doing things that aren't really progress, or quote-unquote progress, for the main campaign. Simply because I want to keep that for the for the Let's Play series. My uh, primary thoughts are clear out this system completely because we've seen that this system doesn't have anything particularly useful to us. Like I'm happy to move on from this system at this point. It's not going to give us more crew. We're not. We might see a couple of different designs, maybe possibly, but more than likely, we're not really going to see anything particularly special in this uh, in this sector. And likewise, we won't see anything particularly special in either of these. But there is still some stuff to do in both of them, mostly just exploring. So, option number one, and something I'm, I'm going to be doing, is cleaning these up. Uh, so just going through, completing all of the quests, gathering materials, scouring the asteroid belts, getting all of the gold and carbon and all of the good stuff, the uranium. But also we are going to be doing some building. Now, in the building side of things, there may be a little bit of tweaking on the Hercules, perhaps even adding in the extra manufacturing capacity that we need for it, but probably not too much if, as far as the Hercules goes. Scarab wise got a bit of work to do on the on the thruster clusters, and honestly, maybe a bit more of a significant redesign of its internals, maybe, maybe expand the ship out a bit, make it a little bit more of a chunky boy. And finally, and possibly the most extensive of all, we're going to be... Well, this is my plan, anyway. Going to embrace the fact that this is now a... It's not a fighter. I intended for it to be a fighter. My whole The whole point of making it was that I'd have a small fighter craft. And then it was like, okay, maybe it's more of a strike craft then, not in a fight. But honestly... It's not even that good of a of a strike craft in its current design. We we are in a place now where we need bigger, stronger ships. And a lot of people have suggested that well, they've made the suggestion of either cannons or missiles. And I'm thinking maybe maybe the complementary combat vehicle for the Scarab would be a missile boat. I want to keep its crew requirements low, so I do want to try and make it efficient. And that's a big part of what we'll be doing with the Scarab as well, is trying to tweak its efficiency. But yeah, making some sort of missile um, support vessel for the Scarab. The Scarab is going to be our tanky boy, getting in there, getting into the fights, but the Fire Ant will... Uh, 
will launch missiles. Missile manufacture is not as easy as it may seem at first. Well, that's the thing is I am wondering if I'm going to have it manufacture its own missiles. We may simply give it a large storage for missile components that the uh, Hercules will manufacture. I'm not married to the idea of, of each ship basically being independent. Like, it, it's a, the, the Scarab is, f right now, self-contained. It can scavenge its own, own sulfur, and it can, therefore, be completely independent. If the Hercules wasn't there, the Scarab would just have, have to go on mining missions every now and then to replenish its sulfur supply. But other than that, it's a self-contained vehicle. Um, it doesn't have much storage space, to be sure, but, you know, it's got enough. The Fire Ant is, in and of itself, quite capable, but, uh, well, in, in a low level, rather. Um, but it would have to, like, um, it doesn't really have any kind of storage capacity, so it would need to, to mine and salvage on-site for repairs. The Hercules is absolutely independent, but that's the idea, is that the Hercules would be. The Hercules would be the place that we come back to. But the factory ship, I don't want to take the Hercules into battle. That's that's not somewhere I want to go with that. But, but it could. If that if the question is, is it possible, then yeah, yeah, absolutely. See the thing with, with cannons and, and I'll put this out there now. Cannons are relatively short-range weapons. And the bigger the cannon, the more the recoil. We're already having trouble getting to into good positions on what we want to fight. I, I don't really... I think I would prefer... Rather than having... See... The Scarab is, is the most tanky of the ships, but it's also our artillery platform for all intents and purposes. It wants to stay away from a fight. Which means that... Any other ship we make with any kind of weapon that's shorter range than the, than the ions is going to be the, the, the one that is going to get up close and personal with the enemy. And that, that doesn't really sit well for this ship design at all. And if I want to make it a massive tank, then I'm just going to end up with a brick. With, you know, I understand why so many people end up with that. They just make a brick of armor and then stick a couple of cannons on it and call it a day. No, I'm, I'm not about that. I think I would like something a little bit more interesting. Mining laser is technically a weapon. I'm not going to make a mining laser simply because of the energy draw. Doesn't seem like uh, the best way to go. Will it stay a small striker ship? Uh, it'll probably get bigger. It will, it will have to get bigger to accommodate a, a storage for whatever we do. Um, whether we end up going cannons or, or missiles. I don't think railguns. I, I think I would... Uh, well, largely because it's a it's a diagonal ship. Cannons would work on a diagonal ship. Missiles would work on a diagonal ship. But I kind of feel like railguns would work better on a ship like the Hercules with an, a massive spinal railgun. Yeah, there is a large blaster. I used to have it. Did I have it on the scarab at one point? I don't remember. I don't believe you can make unmanned drones, though. I'm not sure on that, but I don't think that's a thing you can do. Hey, yo, I am Killer Dove. Doug Ratchet, thank you both very, very much for the support. Enjoying the series? I'm very glad you are. Very glad to hear that. All right, but things to do then. Things to do. We've got a bunch of stuff in here to take care of. Uh, we've got wrecks aplenty. Uh, wreck, wreck. We've got an unknown signal. Let's start by getting some things cleaned. So, uh, actually, I didn't even need to do that. I, I do have them all uh, hotkeyed. I, should, I, I never use that in the middle of a of a uh, an episode for some reason I always forget. Right, so before we get well actually hmm No 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 Hercules come on come on back. We're gonna do a little bit of building first. So first thing is 
I would like to expand out and improve the crew efficiency on this ship a lot. Now, I feel that having a few people assigned to this reactor is important. This does not use any power. These do. These do. How much power it uses, we can see. Let's have a quick look. Power uses 1.25 per second when it's firing. This only has a, a single charge of power, so it's not exactly uh, efficient. Let's put it that way. Uh, by the way, Chad, I've actually kind of got kind of got an idea. This this is way way down the line. All right, but I'm gonna as this is a behind the scenes stream, I'm gonna let you in on a on a on a on an idea that I've got for the evolution of the Scarab eventually. Now, you see, one of the issues is that carrying energy down here is labor intensive simply because they drink so much power so it makes you know down here it's fine because these are three energy um, batteries so you can lo load them quite comfortably now imagine if you would a scarab that doesn't actually have any ion beam emitters on it at all that it is just a defense platform shields and flak weapons, and maybe some heavy blasters and disruptors or something. Something for it to get right in the middle of a brawl and just outlast its opponent. But, 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 still has the ion beam prisms. Going straight down the middle. And then the, the wings are isolated sections of the ship, more or less independent. They've got their own reactors, their own things. And the beam comes out around here to another prism. Another prism just here, just kind of off and exposed from, from the back. Maybe a little bit of armor. And instead, you have ion drones. All right. And each ion drone has a medium reactor or a large reactor and two ion beams. Both fueled either side, goes up into a crystal out of the front. They never get into fight. They hang back way over here somewhere but once they engage they target their crystals to the crystal on the scarab and these feed through and then the scarabs funneling all of that power out front mad paradigm i don't think that works sorry does it not I'm fairly certain it can. Is there any particular, like, are you saying, are you perhaps not um, suggesting that it's impossible to do, but rather not pragmatic, which I completely understand if that was the, 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 the case mad paradigm. Um, if like, yeah, in practice, that just doesn't work because they're always moving around and they can never retract the, the crystals possibly. That, that I could easily see being the case. Like this is, this is mad scientist level ship design. But in terms of it actually being possible, it absolutely is. I mean, I can quickly throw together a... a, uh, a test design for that. Do the game mechanics allow it? Chat, let's find out. Is the yeah the Dapper Tuesday and we've got enough crystals on there so we're gonna for science. It is the most glorious and uh, most noble of all things to do. Beam right there. Done. Make it so. Okay, I need to ship the <laughs> help. Ah oh, crap! I was wondering why it cost me to. <laughs> God damn it! Stupid mirror mode. Why are you only ever there when I don't want you? Um, uh, we're, we're just gonna throw this together. Hercules, it's for science, okay? Concern? <laughs> yes. Yes, the time for sciencing is now. It is always now. 
Hercules is going to hurt only for a moment, all right? Calm thyself. It's fine. Uh, laser beams. This would be so, so bad to load. Um, actually, we'll just stick it out the front like that. Punk. <laughs> we didn't need that maneuvering thruster anyway. It's fine. Um, okay, could you please uh, load this up? We don't actually have any crew that... <laughs> man, like, we don't have any fun <laughs> combat crew on this ship. <laughs> uh, it's going to be such such a jank test, but it it's, is what it is. And uh, we'll stick the prism right there, just so that the Hercules doesn't need to literally turn around in order to aim at it. Right. If I, uh, at... See, lo notice the link symbol? We are locked. All right. I would like you to aim over here, and I would like you to fire continuously. Now, I'm gonna have to jiggery-pokery the uh, crew here to get them to load this thing up with that, uh, energy uh, could you please charge that for me and then eventually turn around there we go. all right then chat first test of the of the stream first for sciencing as soon as someone gets in there it should activate there you go beauteous so there you are there's your answer categorically 100 percent it is possible we are going to make the equivalent of whatever whatever super unit was in um, Red Alert 3, was it? No, Command and Conquer 3. Actually, no, Red Alert 2. Oh, and 3, I suppose. Where you could, you could have the Tesla, Tesla troopers charge your Tesla coils. Can I move the second ship now? That is a good test. Okay, let's uh, cross the streams. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Let's do it slowly. <laughs> so, yes. We have built a super weapon. It's very jank right now, but... Super weapon complete. Mangleport. Mother of God. Yep. Uh, can we feed back? Ooh. Ooh, that's, that's scary. Um, all right. I'm down for a bit of, uh, I'm as, as down for some for sciencing as the next person. So, okay. Let's position you about here. Just so that the laser doesn't cut across the other ship. We are become death. Destroyer of nuclear <laughs> equipped starbase. I felt so cheesy. So cheesy. Um... I think we... I don't know what we're about to do, but... Uh, oh, crap. We're going to drag it straight across this. Please, please do not make us the enemy of the state. We're, we're, we're totally going to become the enemy of the state. You know what? How about you move forward so that that doesn't happen, eh? Uh, that would be great. Forward. Quickly. 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 No. No. Ah! Okay, it's fine. Oh, God. What have we done? Oh! <gasps> We've made a space monomolecular garrote. We can now make a ship which is just the front is prisms pointing at each other, a grid of laser beams. It's like a corridor in an umbrella facility, only in space. It's a plasma ram.
So, you know, everyone's been like, oh, it would be so funny if you, you picked up asteroids with this. I've got a better suggestion for you. How about I collect ships in a highly armored kind of bucket crisscrossed by prism lasers? My God. This is absolutely mad scientist levels of space combat. This is truly fantastic in every way. Okay, task complete. Shut down. <gasps> we have trapped the light. Oh, my God. My lord. So, what I'm hearing in my head is with a single ion firing into a, a crystal, which then feeds out to a pair of crystals that face each other. Given time, that laser is going to be staggeringly powerful because what I'm thinking now is that these are actually building charge. Each time the laser goes through and bounces across, it's adding itself to the original beam and it's now a second beam and it's going back and forth, back and forth, and it's just building up power. I see. I see. So all I need to do is have one ion beam that is set to always, always be maintained. And then create a ship that can ram other ships such that they are within the confines of said beam. So very fast, very, very fast speedy boy. So you know, you know how I was like, oh yeah, we're gonna redesign our ship, and we're gonna, we're gonna, yeah, missiles would be fun. Hmm, I may have a better idea. How fantastic! Truly, this is the best of days. All right, let's uh. Let's pop the uh, Hercules back to the way it was before, though. This was a fantastic test. I'm very, very proud of it. And this needs to go right about there. I am incredibly happy with the outcome of this test. This is the best sort of for science, Chad. The very best sort. So, my initial plan for the eventual evolution of the Scarab seems like that is going to work. We are going to make some sort of crazy... Uh, like buddy system of of ion drones that feed the lasers of the scarab. The scarab will then drop its own ion emitters. It won't have ion natively, like flat cannons, maybe even big cannons. Who knows? But it'll mostly be built for for um, slugging and and get getting right into the middle of a fight. 
the ion beams will be fed from somewhere much further back just to give it much more punch once it's in the fight. Uh, wait, Avak, you can use a tractor beam to pull the enemy into a smaller beam. Oh, that's a good point, yeah. Avak, are there ways to have actua actuators in this game? I want to move a final prism a uh, after full charge to also provide a way to shoot it back out is needed. Uh, I'm not sure. But one thing I don't want to find out is how badly pr uh, prisms like that would explode. Because I feel they'd probably explode big. Okay, so that is a bit of a, a fun little test there. Uh, what is out right now? Oh, right, we're out to sulfur. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, can we transfer some across? Uh, to the scarab. Some sulfur, please. I dare say, Avak has found the perfect game for himself. The whole thing is character created. <laughs> Damn it. Kind of true, though. Uh, do I think I'm going to return to Phoenix Point or Mechanicus anytime soon? Uh, I, uh, soon is such a subjective thing, uh, Guthan. Like, I would say yes, because I was thinking about that as the game that I would play after I'm done... Um, playing this tonight, but then I decided to go for RimWorld instead. So, I mean, it's on my mind. Um, Mechanic is always on my mind, but uh, Phoenix Point uh, especially has been on my mind the last couple of, of streams, but uh, just other games won out ultimately. But when other games stop winning out, I couldn't give you a time frame for. Yeah, a tractor beam plus that kind of uh, ion cutter, I think, is just a fantastic idea. Absolutely fantastic. But let's uh, let's get back to the scarab. Now, there's a couple of things I want to do. First and foremost, I want to build out these thruster clusters. I could also add in some more um, uh, flak. I guess, but I think the thruster clusters are the main things I want to move. So, cut and slide. About... See, I don't want to take them too far away lest I lose the uh, convenience of the shield protecting it. Also, let me just pop that back and turn on mirror mode. Also, also. Ugh, I'm allergic to mirror mode. Uh, there we go. I really like this song. Out of all of the songs in the game, this one's probably my favorite. I'm gonna pop this about there. Then I want, actually, I just want to flip that, something like that. Mm, no, no, I, I really do like having this there just because it gives more of an interesting curve. We'll be doing a bit of clearing out the system in a, in a little while though. But for now, we're focusing on moving bits. So, I want to have one regular thruster up here, is what I'm thinking. Something like that. I would like a boost thruster there. So, two boost thrusters and a regular one. Alternatively, I could kind of 
just dig that in down the side, but uh, not as keen on that. I do like having these, though, because they give me much more reactive thrust. It'll start us moving first, or rather sooner. But for forward propulsion, I want the big, big thrusters. Don't need any doors connecting these. In fact, I might be able to at this point just have a uh, big thrust uh, going out in this direction. I don't know. What do you think, chat? A large thruster? Or two standard thrusters, just for their faster spool-up time. So, Avak likes interesting curves, eh? Don't we all? <laughs> Big. Standard. Both. Uh, both is a little bit more tricky. I mean, I could do both, I suppose, but it is a bit more tricky. Point defense. Well, see, I could have some point defense down there, but, and you're right, you're right, we probably do need some point defense down there, to be fair, because otherwise we are going to struggle. So if if we if we want to have point defense and we're married to the idea of having point defense, then uh, something more along this line with two separate uh, areas, so that would be better for us. In fact, at that stage, we could do something like this. Something like that might work. Hey, Avomathrax, how you doing, mate? Thank you so much for dropping by. Hello, readers. How are you all doing? Uh, to bring you up to speed, this is a save from my uh, Let's Play series on YouTube. And I'm just doing some little work here and there. Just filling out our ship design. Something like that gives us quite a lot of basic point defense and then a flak at the front. So if a missile comes at us from the side or it swoops around the side outside of the way of the flak, I've still got side uh, defenses to try and deal with it. Are right, you playing some more Kata. Hope your run is doing well, mate. Yeah, I'm thinking a uh, two-way walkway to the rea to the uh, thruster cluster might genuinely be a good move, but that would make me want to pull everything back. There's a part of me. Uh, how fast can this produce ammo? Uh, production rate two ammo a second. How fast does this use ammo? This uses four shots a second, and each shot uses one. So I'd only be so I'd need two ammo factories fed with sulfur to keep this going. Now, one thing I will say is having a small stockpile of ammo is useful, but it is also explosive. Having a sulfur, sorry, an ammo factory is not explosive. Sulfur is not reactive. Well, I mean... Whatever happens, I would want to move this ammo closer to the, the flak battery. That's just something we need at this point. I need the flak battery to get get its ammo sooner than it than it is right now.
But I could sacrifice the standard thruster here to allow for a double walkway. How about we select that, all of it, cut it, and just slide it to the side. So this would be a double walkway from the reactor at that point. But the reactor is probably going to move down so I've got a little bit more armor over here. Uh, so, with that in mind, let's grab that and cut. Turn off the mirror mode just for a second. And slide it down. Tonk. The warp core. I don't mind too much being where it's at. It is a bit of a, a vulnerability, but it does give us a nice spread. I need the mirror mode back on. Uh, I could slide that down there instead. I really love the selection tool in this. It makes building so much easier. Now with that... We slide this down to about here. And, oh, actually, we can move these up instead. If I want the walkway, to run straight to the engine room, I can. They can get off there to feed this uh, capacitor. I could even move the shield down a little bit if I really wanted to. Which would bring it a bit better in line there, so maybe that's what I'm going to do. And that will allow me to armor this side a little bit more. In fact, all the way down, which is going to improve the defensive characteristics a bit more. There we go. Much, much more powerful thruster cluster now. Let's put doors in the right places, though. Don't need any doors on these. The only thing uh, that I've been worried about with the uh, thrusters is... The fact that right now I don't have any way to get in there and put out fires. But also the fires can't spread, so I mean there is that. But I'm guaranteed to lose the component if it if a fire does start in there. I think at this point this is going to be purely for the shield system. Hey hey, Xenovoid. Something something womp rats beggars can't get Damn it, Mangled Pork, why? The shield here will protect this area, but I could put another shield on the other side. Ultimately, if I really, really wanted to. In fact, I could do that to give it even, even more protection. But it does expose that area then to relatively easy attack. Um, Because why not menace with spikes if you've got the option of menacing with spikes? That is the question that I ask you, chat. Why would you choose not to menace with spikes? Ah, uh, yes, I am aware, jokes. I just find that inc really cheesy. 
I actually mentioned that a few times in my videos. Uh, like, I'm, I'm completely aware that you can bury a thruster cluster. Like, basically, you only need to not cover this. The only thing that that doesn't work for that I'm aware of is the big shield. If there's anything in front of the big shield, so, for example, if you do this and then you bury it, it'll let you do that, but the shield won't work properly. It ha it'll only protect something it can see impacting the shield. So if you uh, cover it, it loses functionality. Now, I've had all sorts of uh, people, you know, make all sorts of um, arguments in favor of, of doing it and, and ways to justify it. And I, I was aware of all of those possibilities before. Um, I just, I just, you know, that that's beyond the line in the sand that I draw for myself on what is cheesy and what is not. Um, but the common, common, uh, suggestions are things like, um, let me just, uh, move these around. Actually, let me put that back so I can move it in the design. Uh, the common suggestions are, well, what if uh, the, the thrusters are angled up and angled down? And so, you know, off the, the kind of, uh, plane of the ship yeah no that that would work but the thing is the thruster would let's say you did it at a 45 degree angle that now half of the thrusters output is pushing you down if they're pointing up or pushing you up if it's pointed down the only way to make that work properly without the ship constantly sinking or rising is to have a twin thruster doing exactly the same on the other side but now half of your thrust output is dedicated to keeping your ship on the plane so unless the thruster is 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 scaled back to half of its normal output, that doesn't make any sense. But you could totally do that. You could just say that, well, all of these thrusters are actually that anyway. Um, you just can't see the other side. That's just how they work. And this is the output at half strength or what have you. And no, that's a completely, completely fair argument. There, there's so many different ways that you can you can justify it. And if you want to, it kind of falls into my usual thing. If you're playing a single player game, or even if you're playing a multiplayer game, as long as everyone agrees on the rules, then knock yourself out. Do what you want. Do what makes the game fun for you. Thank you for the YouTube notifications, Avak. I don't know why, but Twitch notifications haven't been working for me. Glad to catch a stream, especially Cosmic Oh, thanks, Rizal. How are you doing? Have you been playing this, by the way? Dude just said, Avak, I literally just tried burying a large shield and it cuts off the shield arc. Yep, yep, no, absolutely does. Could the walkways go right to the reactor doors? Uh, yeah, you could do. I mean, if you, if you wanted to, you could do this. There you go. Now, you could do this. I mean, it's a little bit inefficient because they have to get off there, but you could totally have them moving like that if you want. Plan to play to end game? I mean, if people still want to watch me playing to end game, sure. I don't know how much content the game has, you know, in the practical sense, but yeah. I've been fighting the urge to buy it this week, but was about to cave in, and I'm good. <laughs> it is very much worth the purchase. If you enjoy games like this, this is a fantastic example of the the peak of this genre. I missed a couple of walkways, did I? Hmm. I don't see them. Now, one thing we could do down here is... I could have a dedicated crew for this capacitor. They are, their entire job is to load this capacitor into the shield and just keep this thing going. That's, that, that is their whole job. I could do other things too, but, you know, it's kind of cool. Yeah, there are a couple of uh, mods out. I've seen a lot of the dapplings using the uh, 360 shield mod.
One door is uneven. What do you mean one door is uneven? Chat, you're gonna you're gonna have to be more descriptive. I appreciate that from your perspective, you know exactly what you're talking about, but from mine, you could be talking about absolutely anything. The right capacitor. Ah, gotcha. Thank you very much. See? Just a few extra words paint such a clear picture. All right, 